Candice. I'm a DevCon co-host. I'm based in Joburg. Hi, I'm Robert. I'm the other DevCon co-host, and I am based in Cape Town. What does DevCon mean to you? DevCon means everything to me. It's a project that I've been involved with for the last, how many years has it been? Uh, seven? Seven years, I think. Um, it's about bringing people together that share a passion for software development. Um, but also, it's an opportunity to connect, network, learn. Um, and it's just a super inspiring event that I look forward to every single year. For me, DevConf is just a magical place. It's a place where you can learn about tech you never knew. You could learn about things in a way that you've never known before as well. Through going to sessions and meeting with speakers or by not really knowing exactly what session you want to attend. So you attend one of the five that run concurrently and you learn something completely brand new. DevConf though, is also a place of serendipitous opportunities where you can run into the next person you'll hire or the next person they'll hire you in the passage. You can meet long lost friends and it's just really great to be in such a unique and special physical environment. What are you excited about this year? For 2023's DevConf, I am excited about so many things. Um, some of the things I'm excited about are the things that I kind of know are just part of the event uh, baked in. That is that every single year I make new friends. Um, and I think that that's, it's, it's one of the most rewarding parts of what we do is we get a unique opportunity to speak to some of South Africa's most talented people. Um, the conversations we have are very organic um, and it's, it's for me the most, I think it's just the most rewarding part. Um, I'm really excited about the fact that we've reached the numbers that we have um, in, in Cape Town to see 750 people um, showing up to this event is just phenomenal for me. If I think about how um, the conference started as a Joburg event um, and it's scaled into being in two cities back in around 2017. Um, and it's Cape Town is almost three times the size that it was when we first started. So it's just absolutely amazing. Um, I'm definitely excited about some of the workshops that are planned. That's a new thing that's been added to our agenda this year. I'm very excited about a local keynote. I'm very pro South African software development expertise because we have it here. And I think that's part of the message that we'll be getting from Maureen this year. So very excited about that. I mean, I could list many, many more things, Robert, um, but we'll be out all day. What are you looking forward to? This year, I'm most excited about many, many things, just like you, Candice. And, you know, the first that comes to mind is workshops. We've never run workshops before. We've heard from attendees year after year that they want to go deeper. They want more content. And here is a way to answer both of that by providing deep hands-on sessions where people from the industry will take you through from start to finish on data science and AI topics. It's really magical. I'm also looking forward to just hanging out with our sponsors and meeting with our sponsors. They are fantastic in their support of the event, but also a lot of them are running competitions. A lot of them are running special events. There is free training. Uh, there are ways you can win PlayStation 5s or home power stations so that you never have to deal with load chaining again. And I think that would be a great way, to, great way to sort of end your day by going home with a new PlayStation. I'm also looking forward to the speakers and the topics that we have. I think if we look at previous years, we've had three years without international speakers in South Africa and the diversity and experience that this year's set of speakers, including mm. all the internationals, bring is going to be something really special. Definitely, definitely is. Um, we always learn so much about people through their diverse backgrounds and um, having international speakers really does bring that extra dimension of diversity to the event. What can we expect from the keynote? This year's keynote is by Haroon Mir from Thinkst, and it is something really special. Haroon founded Thinkst many years ago and has become, it has become one of the world's leading companies in information security. 
And it is through his hard work, his international exposure, his growth that has made it such a powerhouse. But it's a powerhouse that's really unknown in South Africa. And that speaks to the heart of what he wants to bring to the conference this year. South Africa is mostly a country where we consume the software products from other countries. And it's not like we don't have really great, smart people. It's not like we haven't produced amazing engineers. So why is it that we are producing software products that we don't sell on the international stage? Why is it that we are a net consumer of these products instead of a net exporter? I think Arun's going to bring up some hard topics for us. I think he's going to challenge all of us. And I think it's going to really motivate the audience to take some big steps to drive this country forward in terms of becoming the powerhouse that we are actually meant to be. Exactly, Robert. I think that's it's such a powerful message that we're going to get from that keynote. And that's really what we want from a keynote. We don't want um, a keynote that's not going to evoke something within our audience. We want that provocation. We want somebody to say, oh, hang on, that's something I've never thought about and walk out of that keynote thinking I can do something different from tomorrow. That's what we want from a DEF CON for keynotes. And I think Haroon is going to, um, <laughs> I hope Haroon's not listening and feeling under pressure, but I, I, do, I think he's gonna deliver an excellent keynote this year. Any prep attendee should do. So ahead of DevConf, um, there's going to be a lot of information that we're going to be sharing on our uh, through our newsletter. So please make sure that you are checking your inbox for messages from us. Um, those would include things like how you're going to park at the event. Um, they're going to include things around um, if there's anything that you need to bring along with you. Um, if you're attending a workshop, how you're going to RSVP for that. Um, what it is that you're going to need to bring along in order to attend that workshop. Um, there's no dress code really for DevConf. Uh, comfort is king always, so uh, we probably won't give you any guidance around that. But definitely just keep an eye on your mails because all of the information will be sent to you uh, within a week of the event taking place. Um, there will be a goodie bag, um, and your goodie bag will include a notebook and a pen, so you do not need to bring any of that along. Robert, what am I leaving out? While we don't have dress code, I think the thing I would always recommend is really comfortable shoes. There's a lot of walking to be done as you move between various sessions during the day and into the expo area. Uh, so comfortable shoes is always a great thing to just do as any attendee to a conference. If you are going to attend the workshops, please bring your laptops and power supplies as all our workshop uh, companies are asking for that. So you can do hands-on work with them. I also think it's really important to spend some time ahead of the event on our website. You can go and read up on every session. Uh, you can read up on the speakers. They will have bios. They will have links to their social medias, especially with five concurrent tracks running. It will be quite difficult sometimes to pick exactly what talk you want to go to. And that bit of prep ahead of time can make a lot of help instead of trying to quickly 10 minutes between events, uh, figure out what you want to go see. So I highly recommend ahead of the event, go and spend that sort of 20 minutes and speak to those you are going with. Maybe if you both or all of you want to see different things, you can get together afterwards and compare notes. And that's a great way to take DevCon from being a one day thing at the venue and bring it into your company and have feedback sessions and playbacks and make it a truly company wide event that lasts for a week or two. Thank you, sponsors. You know, I think that it would be remiss not to not to thank our sponsors at this point because our event has, over the years, been so, so supported by local and international companies that are with us in this journey to build a community in this country. Um, we are incredibly privileged and humbled, and especially through some of the tougher times like when COVID um, first hit in 2020, Many of our sponsors had the opportunity to back out and they didn't. Um, they were with us all the way. And as we transformed um, two events into a single virtual event, our sponsors were with us because they still believed that this was the right thing. And 
I just feel like every single year I'm, I'm so, so humbled by the support and we get many of our sponsors come back year after year. They love the event as much as we do. Um, they engage with the audience in unique ways each year. They're always trying to find different ways to, to pull out all the stops and make their stands interesting and relevant. And I think that we, we have been very fortunate to work with companies that are here for the right reasons and they want to make sure that you who attend DevConf have the best possible experience. <laughs>